Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, June 27th. Great to be with you today. Uh, we're still in this series, uh, um, Prisoners of Hope, uh, the certainty that we have in Christ. That's, that's where we want to be. If that's the gift God gives us, to be a prisoner uh, uh, in his hope, in his certainty of his grace, right? And we, we, all these other things that can be used for good in our lives sometimes, uh, we, we put them in the place of Jesus and, and, uh, and we get lost. Uh, and this week we're looking at the idea of being a warrior, right? Um, and, and finally, Jesus Christ uh, is the warrior in our place. And, and we're called, in, instead of going to war, uh, and, and I know, you know, I, I should have said this earlier in the week, I, I know that folks in their callings uh, protect others and the like, uh, 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 policemen, uh, those who serve in the military, uh, uh, even um, moms and dads, right? We, we, there are times that we protect one another. Uh, uh, and, and, and that, but, but yet the way we live our lives, are we going to war? Are we going to be a warrior? Are we going to fight everybody? You know, that's, that, are we going to look to our own strength? We think we're going to have, we're going to fill up our life, going to have life the way it was meant to be by living that way? And the answer is no, because we make ourselves our savior. Uh, and we're using, and we, we look at people as our enemies, uh, and they're not our enemies, finally. They, they may be held captive by the evil one, but they're not our enemy. Satan is, and we, uh, and and we look to, uh, to for us to 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 save ourselves, and and to, we we use the wrong uh, instruments, instrument of hate, and 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 all those things. Uh, so 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 we're we're looking at this rather as Jesus is our savior, uh, and and he, he says, blessed are are those who mourn, blessed are are the meek, for they shall. So in other words, knowing that we're not the savior, Jesus has received what he's done for us on the cross. He crushed the head of the serpent. He 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 won for us this great enemy, Satan, and we, and we receive that, and, and we live in it. How do we live in it? Blessed are the peacemakers, uh, peacemakers, uh, in in in, in our. Uh, with our husbands, with our wives, with our children, with our grandchildren, with our neighborhoods, with our nation, with our world. Blessed are the peacemakers. And, and, and so in this Ephesians text, we started yesterday, God reminds us, hey, <laughs> you know, uh, this is who our enemy is. Know who, know who your real enemy is. It's Satan and, and the spiritual forces of evil, the heavenly realms. This is who our evil, you know, this is, and, and, and so put on this armor of God, these, these gifts of grace that God gives us. And we talked about that yesterday. Um, uh, the, the belt of truth. Uh, amazing. Uh, when, I think we, as Christians, sometimes we, um, we forget that, uh, that we know the truth. In, in, in everything God teaches us in his word, we know the truth. That's a wonderful gift to live in that. Breastplate of righteousness means I'm washed clean in the blood of Christ. I'm declared righteous in his name, right? <laughs> uh, um, we, the, the, our, our feet have the, the shod with the gospel of peace. We're peacemakers, you know. We, uh, the gospel means the good news, good news of Jesus. Uh, and and the the faith right we 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 block the uh, attacks of the evil one with this personal faith that we have that God's given us and also the faith the the body of stuff that we believe that we take from the Word of God so so all those things we looked at yesterday um, but I saved a couple I saved in a sense the offensive weapons <laughs> for uh, for being peacemakers hey, here we go uh, it says take the helmet of salvation. So uh, a helmet, of course, is, is, was put on, on your head, and it, it protected the most uh, vital thing, your, your, your brain, but also it, was, uh, it, it, it uh, gave you the look of, uh, of, that, of, of victory, all right? And, and um, so the helmet of salvation, salvation means life. The fact that, that we know in who we are, in the very soul of us, who we are. We have life in Jesus Christ. We are his own dear children. Put that on. To you go forward in who you are as the peacemaker through through what Jesus Christ has done for you, and He's the Savior, right? He's he, He's the warrior. Uh, so put that on, and then it says, "And take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God." So you take the sword of of the Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit of God, uh, and it says, "And this is the Bible. This is the Word of God." You see, uh, um, we can talk about the Bible as being truth, and it is. It's absolute truth. But, but it's, all, it's even more than that. It's the very power of God. Whenever we speak this truth, uh, the Spirit of God touches hearts and touches our hearts. So we, so we take up this sword of the Spirit it's, uh, and, and, and we, um, we, we, look, we give it to our own hearts and we give it to the hearts of others. Uh, and, and it's God at work. It's an offensive weapon, in a sense, to bring uh, as, as peacemakers. I know that, that's kind of using the wrong terminology to be a peacemaker. I didn't do it. God did, so we'll go with it, all right? <laughs> uh, and and, and then, then it goes on here, and something we forget about. It says, and pray. So this is an offensive weapon, and pray. And pray uh, in the spirit 
on all occasions. And, and um, how do we, in the Spirit could be in the very essence of my being, or it could be here, uh, pray in the Holy Spirit, that is through his knowing that he's at work. He, uh, his word says what? Uh, 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 he, he says to us that uh, prayer is powerful and effective, you know, and knowing that and praying in that reality, trusting God. So pray in the Spirit with the Spirit's wisdom and the Spirit's power on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Uh, with this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints, the holy ones. And, of course, though each of us who believes in Jesus Christ, he declared holy. Each of us is a saint of God and a sense of holy through faith in Jesus Christ. So the offensive weapons here, right? In a sense, knowing who you are, you have this salvation, this life that God has given you. Are a, you are a redeemed, uh, a blood-bought child of God, empowered in Him, right? Put on that helmet of life, of salvation, huh? And, and, and you touch, uh, and, and, and you grow in Him, and you touch others' lives, and you bring His peace by what? Using the sword of the Spirit. When you speak God's truth, it's, it's uh, uh, in His Word, His Spirit is always there at work. And I know that just as Jesus' death on the cross, it looked like he'd lost. And yet there he crushed the head of Satan. So too, I understand that when we do these things, sometimes it looks like we're losing. But we're not. We've already won in Jesus. We win. And when he comes in all of his glory, that'll all be revealed. But right now, he's hidden just like Jesus on the cross. And so we, we, use, we, we use the sword of the Spirit, and then he says, and pray. And so often we... And boy, we, we, we forget to do that, or we put on the shelf, or we don't, and we say, I don't know if I'm praying good enough. Or, no, no, we pray knowing the Spirit of God, it says this in Romans, takes our prayers and makes them perfect before the throne of God. Yeah, awesome stuff. And, and this is, an, in a sense, offensive weapon as, as people who are peacemakers. And we pray for each other, uh, and, and we stay alert, and we pray. We pray for all things. Um, and, and God Again, it, it's hidden the power of prayer so often, just like Jesus' victory on the cross. Uh, but yet through that, God does great things. So um, <laughs> as peacemakers then, we gotta, we got to know who our enemy is. It, it's not people around us. No, no, even those who treat us terrible. That's not our enemy. Our enemies are Satan and, 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 his, and the demons and, and, and so forth. And Christ is one over that. And, and, uh, and yet we, we bring his peace into the world, right? Uh, um, and so we, 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 in a sense, put on this, these gifts of grace, this armor that he's given us, and we go forward, and, and, and we bring his peace into the world through his word uh, uh, by knowing who we are uh, and, and, and through prayer. Uh, and, and if you ever doubt those things, just look at the cross. Uh, it looks like Jesus lost, but he won. And, and so too with us, uh, using these, uh, these things that God has given us, these weapons, uh, we we are mighty peacemakers in the world, uh, and he and, and through all this he, he he fills us up, and we we know who we are and what we're about, and and uh, and we make great differences in the world, even if we can't see it with these eyes. So let let's pray, dearest Jesus, we thank you, we thank you that you're our savior, that you are our, our warrior, that we win in you. Uh, we pray, Lord, that um, that we might receive this identity that we are to be peacemakers. Uh, we pray that every day we might put the helmet of salvation on this uh, reality of who we are in you, uh, that we might um, take up the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, speak your truth in, into our lives, into the lives of those around you, into our world, man, and that we might always be constant in prayer and, and, and know that, uh, that they, these are your weapons and you work powerfully through them. Uh, give us your joy, Lord, for we are yours. We don't have to save ourselves. You've saved us. Empower us to live in that joy. Pray in your name. Amen. Okay, uh, we'll see you Sunday. May God be with you. Bye-bye.